How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, it's a bit of a special day. It is the five year anniversary of the third Battlefront game, and this is actually a special video for me. I haven't done a video on this game in over a year. I think it's been just about 13 months, believe it or not, since I last uploaded a video on this game. And I just, I can't believe it's been that long, to be honest, because it seems just like yesterday when this game first came out and I was grinding it nonstop once I actually got my hands on it. And I played it every day or every other day for about three or four years straight. Time has just been flying by the last five years, what can I say? So, as you could imagine, it's been a long time coming and I've been looking forward to finally doing another Battlefront video. And I'm sure some of you have been waiting for this as well. So let's hop to it. I just wanted to talk a little about how enjoyable this game was early on, especially in the 2016 time frame when the DLCs finally came out in particular. And then I'll probably cut it a little bit short and let you guys enjoy some gameplay. So I'm just going to dive right into it. This game, the first week was incredible from a player count perspective when it approached nearly 300k players online all at one point in time. In what was probably the biggest and busiest week in the history of the entire Battlefront series. After that happened, it kind of died down because some people were disappointed with the game. It wasn't quite what they were expecting after waiting for so long for another Battlefront game to come out. But then it made a comeback right around the time that the second DLC got released. When that Bespin DLC came out, it brought a lot of people back to the game. Bespin was a better DLC than Outer Rim was. Bespin just had so much more to offer, which is why people started to flock back towards the game when the second DLC came out. Later on, the third DLC came, and that Death Star DLC was more geared for anyone that loved to fly. It was probably the least popular DLC and then finally, the fourth and final Scarif DLC came out around Christmas time in 2016. Many people, including myself, consider Scarif to be the best one out of the four packs from the season pass. I remember talking about this a long time ago with one of my buddies. We were talking about if Scarif had just come out sooner, if it had just come out earlier and been the first DLC released and started things out with a bang, we thought it would have been crazy to see how much more popular the game would have been. But of course, it couldn't have turned out that way because they had to wait for the movie Rogue One to get released first. But yeah, I'm still convinced to this day, Battlefront would have been a bit more popular had things worked out that way. But still, all the DLC packs on this game were pretty dope. I've said it before in some of my older Battlefront videos, I think this entire season pass had the best content out of any DLC out there today. I would put it up against any other game's DLC. Out of any game ever made that had extra content, I would still pick this game's DLC over that. I had a lot of fun a few years ago staying up all night playing Scarif for about 12 hours straight some days. Pretty much the only thing now that beats Scarif is... Walker Assault if you can manage to get into a decent lobby. But yeah, it was definitely one of the things that made this game so attractive and brought more people back to it, just like with Bespin. Later on, they ended up making the Season Pass free, or they added it to the Standard Edition for any new players to enjoy. As we look back, Battlefront 2015 was the best game to come out in the past five or so years. And 2016 was really the golden year, the golden era for this game. In 2017, I think the bow rifle was really the only major thing added after Scarif came out, along with some item and weapon buffs and nerfs here and there. And after all of that, the game was pretty much what you would see today on there. So, fast forwarding to how this game is today, majority of its player base is gone. It's still a good game, but majority of the people that still play this are the everyday people that play it, day in and day out, which doesn't make it as fun as it was a few years ago when the noobs were in every lobby. 
about a year ago when the PStats website for Battlefront was still up and running, it was averaging about 1,200 players on the entire game during the daytime on Xbox. PlayStation was about the same, and on PC, the game has been dead for at least three years, since about 2017, I would say, because they have averaged under 300 people online during the daytime hours during that span. And a small part of the reason behind why the player base has gone down so much over the years is because of people cheating and glitching, making other people not want to deal with that. Therefore, the player base takes a little bit more of a dive. I'm not going to go much more into it than that because this is a special video and I don't want to ruin the good vibes, but it is unfortunate certain people have to lie and say they don't cheat, yet nearly every game they play in, it looks a lot like this. And for me, I've probably made it on here about 15 or 20 times since that last Battlefront video that I did about 13 months ago. I've been enjoying it way more since I started playing it less, and it's been a bit more challenging too, because, you know, when you play a certain game once a month, you're not really going to be able to do what you used to do, quite the same at least. But like I said, it's more enjoyable now for me not having to stream it or show nearly as much content as I used to, that has been really good for me. Just taking a step back from it all and getting to play other games and do other things. But yeah guys, that just about does it for the commentary. This is a legendary game that definitely deserved its own little time on a day like today. I hope you guys stick around to enjoy the back-to-back -back 72 kill streaks with Han and Vader on Twilight. I probably would have hit about 100 apiece if I wasn't so rusty and actually played the game a bit more. But still some good gameplay. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. From this moment on, the audio is live from a previous broadcast. Ah, damn it. I, I, I got this one. I got more of that. Thank you. Alright, not that you can, but there's two flyers. One flyer. ATSD coming. Show me what you got. I'm dropping the turret. I just dropped the turret. Watch out, who's coming? Everything we've got. 
got. Imperial spotting! I get you. Yes, they coming. There's two ATSTs. If I go up to get rid of that, I'm gonna try and get rid of that walker. Oh, okay. Can't afford to mess around with these guys. Sweet. Everyone pick a target. I just got two guys that are trying to pick you off. Spawning on the um, y'all left. Take it to him. Making a push to go in. We need to deal with these uh, yeah. I don't think I can make it over there. Shit. That viper probe. Keep hearing it. Uh -huh. Die okay, over to your far right. There's two more behind us. You're a hard left. Can't let these losers beat us. Watch out, Mom. Nice. 
Once I got the assist. Let's deal with these guys fast. Are we haven't fun yet. No. Nothing beats a good blaster. Let's blast them. Come up here. I just threw it, I thought I hit him. Just give me a second. Yeah. Pass this along here. You put it, didn't I? Open fire. Uh, he's low. I think you could probably get him. Uh, two guys are trying to push over here. Yep. He only had four Y. Hold on. He only had four Y wings. Is that going to be enough? I got a thermal. Let's finish him up quick. Next one will put you down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Look sharp. Stormtroopers in the area. I did a hundo on it. Uh, not bad. Get those uplinks online now. Fucking <laughs> Get shot in that far back. That's the end of the Emperor. Yep. I'm working on it. Focus your attack on the walker. <laughs> it won't be vulnerable for much longer. Nice. Fucking sweet job. Nice job. Oh, no problem. You see it? Get it, get it. Ha, <laughs> KO5 Otega. <laughs> you will know the power of the dark side. K5 Otega is still coming after me. He's still pissed. <laughs> That's awesome. Ignorance 
of the fools is fatal. Alright, let me die so I can get you back, alright? Your weakness is your undoing. Get some backup for ya. Okay, five is so pissed. Alright, I'm on ya. Alright. Stands out. Hey, you took Vader. They are all over there. Yeah, that's why I'm not a fan of Vader. This is the power of the force. Oh. <laughs> With Vader? You got, right now, you have four kills. Just go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going up in the air. See you. I didn't do it. Coming in. Sorry. I got three. Your defeat What's is that? inevitable. <laughs> there is no defense. I don't see anyone that way. Your fate is now sealed.
Oh, fuck that. You don't want to get straight. All right, they're all in there. Go. They're all there. Fuck these guys. One's right up here. Witness the power of the force. Choose this path. This is your undoing. Yeah. We're all on the other side. They're all coming in. They're all coming in. You will pay for your traitorous acts. Nope. This will cut you down. One right here. Yeah, there's two upstairs. Oh, they're all in here on the right side. Come on down. There's four more right up here. Five, right here. No left. No left. Let's protect you. <laughs> it was the power of the force. There's, uh, they're all coming back in again. Now you finally see. Kill streak that you just had there. Oh my god. You are a fool to oppose. Your defeat is inevitable.
there is no defense against the dark side. Right in front of you. You will join me or die. They're all over there. Your defeat is inevitable. They're all here. Ignorance of the force is fatal. This is the body of the lion. I got an orbital. Distance will not protect me. Enemy orbital strike! Strike! Witness the power of the force. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just got shot in the back. We're all on the other side. There is no yeah. defense. Well. Force is my weapon. Hold on. This will cut you down. You get these clowns in here? Your weakness is your undoing. That's right. Distance will not protect right there. Oh, my. <laughs> 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 I just. <laughs> yes, I saw that. I, all I saw was his, uh, the red outline. Oh, they're all over here. Oh. oh, they just got a hero, I think. Witness the power of the force. Distance. Here comes the straight runs. They're all coming up here. Come on. They're all coming up. This will cut you down. I don't know if we can get down there. Break three. Your weakness is your undoing. Coming up ramp. Coming up ramp. The whole team. The whole team. The whole freaking team. There is no 
defense. Your defeat is inevitable. <laughs> Nothing against the power of the force. Hurry up. Show this path. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ignorance of the force. Oh, see down there again. There is no defense. If you had boss, you would have easily cliffed 140. Easily. You know what? If you had Krennic, Krennic you would have had more too because you could at least shoot. Hmm. Did you record that where that guy went to another galaxy? I recorded one when I was in um, the walker on Sorosub. 